Leaving out in the open like this. A bill has been a leak in the in the Fargo Express system. I don't know whether it's at San Marco or headquarters. I figured we could talk out here with perfect safety. Well, I'll guarantee Chico won't repeat anything we say. Now, Bill, these last three holdups look like the work of an organized gang. Every time that stagecoach has carried heavy treasure, they've robbed it. That does look like inside information. I can't give you any clues. There aren't any. But there's one advantage. They don't know you down at San Marco. And I don't mind telling you that I'll feel my job's a whole lot safer with you on this case. Thanks, Chief. <laughs> well, I better get to work because I don't want a new boss. I don't want you to have a new one. Now, use your own judgment. It's up to you. But bring them in. Right. Goodbye, Chief. Goodbye, Bill. Shouldn't cost. Oh, no. Say, what are you doing to my brother? I'm just holding the little cougar till he calms down. Steady, Sprout, steady. Oops, there you are. <laughs> well, I'm sorry if I made a mistake, miss, but from the sound of your screams, I thought. Folks, your knee's quite funny. Help me, I'm minding your own business. Oh, don't mind, Bart. He's just a boy. You keep out of this. This is between men. Just between men? I'll take your advice, mister. <laughs> May I give you a ride back to the house? Yes, thanks. Hey, huh? Let's feed him back to the house. Okay. Don't 
Yeah. Yeah. Who is that man? Why, I don't know. I want to talk to you. While I'm listening, what are you doing here? Just riding by. Why didn't she keep riding? Oh, he heard Bart hurting me and interfered. Well, Bart ain't hurting you now. Well, Dad doesn't mean to be unfriendly, but you see, we've been robbed, and naturally he suspects everyone. Well, then I don't blame your father for not welcoming strangers. And that's the reason the Wilsons have taken in the welcome sign to strangers. Good morning, Henry. Want you sit down? Thanks. Hello, Hank. Hiya. George, my friend? just heard of your losses and came over to offer my condolences. Now, Mr. Jethro is the leading citizen of San Marco. He's a banker, a justice of the peace, and a lawyer. Really? Well, who takes care of the mail, then? Well, I think he does. <laughs> <laughs> now, George, this offer is prompted purely by my desire to help. If you want to get a fresh start, I'd be willing to take this ranch off your hands. Save for a fair price. Well, thanks, Jethro. I've landed a job. Yeah? Riding guard for Fargo. That'll give me enough to get along until I can restock. Hmm. I hate to see you take such risks. Risks? Yeah. You know two men have just recently lost their lives on the stages. Shh. Well, Miss Bess, you grow into a more beautiful young lady every time I see you. Thank you. I hope I see you in town soon, Miss Bessie. You may, but if you call me Bessie, I won't speak to you. My name is Bess. Oh, I'm sorry if I offended you. I'm Henry Jethro. I'm uh, William Maywood. Friends call me the Pinto Kid. We may become better acquainted riding into town. You going that way? Sometime. Not yet. Adios, Miss Beth. Uh, No hard feelings, Bart. Okay? No, you know they go. Well, I'm awfully glad Bart asked you to save for supper. I did not, and if he stays, I'll eat my supper. You'll eat your supper standing up if you don't act more civil. Yes, sir. Bart, take the stranger's horse to the corral. He's staying for supper. But, Pa! All right. Well, I'll take care of my own horse. And feed him. Well, thanks, sir. You can talk or keep quiet, just as you choose. Say, would you mind telling me what you know about Henry Jethro? What's your interest? Just curious. Well, Jethro's hard but honest. Fighting to clear out the lawbreakers. Put his man Barnes in the sheriff the last election. Folks around here are claiming there's going to be fireworks. Hard but honest, eh? What have you got to say about yourself? Me? Ah. Oh, just a happy-go-lucky fellow with a keen eye for beauty. <laughs> mm. 
Now, here's a trick I'm sure you'll like. Stretch them out like that. Focus, focus. And there they are. Here, you try it. That's right. Ah. <laughs> well, it's simple. It's just a matter of a little practice, that's all. Here, you take them like that. Right over. Lay them down. Now, this is a very, very nice trick, as they call it, the disappearing card. Now, uh, you select a card. That's right. Put it back in the deck. Remember the card? Mm -hmm. You shuffle it. That's right. Say, Bart. Just because you've decided not to like me, there's no reason why you should spoil my trick. Give me that card, Bart. I ain't even seen your card. What's that you're hiding there? Huh? Well, well, well. Isn't that the card? That's it. That's Chico. Let that and go, or we'll be losing the rest of the herd. Okay, let's go. Bindle kid, he's working with those rustlers. Yes, keep us watching his car tricks while his gang robs us. Oh, Bart, no! Yeah. Stay there, Chico. Stay where you are, rustler, or we'll drill you. You don't look like men that'll shoot a guest in the back. Why'd you try it? We don't figure rustlers deserve any better chances. You seen them steal my pin, or does that look as if it ain't my gang? Well, maybe that was a cover-up. Besides, I... I don't need any cover-up. 
Miss Bess, I hope you don't think of me a rustler. Wait a minute. Some fella just rode into town on that pinto horse that we lost over at Wilson's last night. Keep an eye on him. I may know that chap. Right. <laughs> And nothing to drink? Coffee. Coffee. Sure you don't want milk? Just coffee. Saddle roll and see if you can find anything. Lock up that invisible ink, Casey. Sure. Before Wilson makes his first trip as Fargo guard, try to get him to sign this. I'll take care of the rest. Henry? This isn't a trick, is it? Smart. You know Henry doesn't play tricks. Here's to Wilson. I offered to buy his ranch at a fair price. Now.
mark of any kind on his outfit. My name is Tex Hatch, Deputy Sheriff. How are you? Staying with us, Lord? All depends. On what? Oh, business. What is your business? Minding my own business. If your business is honest, you can tell us what you're here for. If it ain't, out you go. Well, aren't you paused at like? Come on. Hit the trail. Me settle this in a Christian like way. All right, Sheriff. Sure. I always anything keep to keep right with the law, but I didn't see anything wrong with your aim just now. Well, I I guess I can finish my steak now. Come on, Casey, I'll introduce you. Good. Hello, Maywood. I want you to meet a friend of mine. Mr. Casey, shake hands with Mr. Maywood. How do you do, Mr. Casey? How do you do, Mr. Maywood? Have a seat, gentlemen. Thank you. Mr. Maywood is also known as the Pinto Kid, Mr. Casey. Oh, is that? Oh. You know, I'm sorry I didn't ride in with you last night, Jethro. Yeah? The Wilsons are robbed and blame me for it. No. You mean they took you for a rustler? It's the first time I got the blame without any of the game. <laughs> well, I hope we'll be seeing you around, Mr. Maywood. I have a hunch we will. Who sent you here? You're a friend of his. Where did you see him? Inside. Told me to look you up. Come into my office later. I can use you. What? It's all right, sit down. You know, you should have told us who you were. Sure, we'd have treated you differently. Any pal of Snowy's is our pal. Sure. That's what he told me, but I thought I'd play safe. How is Snowy, anyway? All right.
George Wilson wants to borrow some money. He's lost all he had. What'll I do? I'll take care of George. Has anything happened to Father? What could have happened to him? Oh, he started work as Fargo guard today, and I've been worried. Oh, he's all right. Miss Beth, you don't blame me, Rutler, do you? I don't want to, but Grandpa says you are. Well, I don't care what they think, as long as you promise me not to think it. Well, if you mean that, you might tell me what you do. I can tell you part of it. Please go. I don't want you and Grandpa quarreling. Come on. Come on, honey, kiss me. Oh, come on. Come on, honey, kiss me.
Because this killing must stand. Or we'll take the law in our own hands. The vigilantes will be back. They don't clean up this place. Friends, I know Sheriff Barnes. He will find the killer or I've misplaced my face in life. Right? Pardon me. Yes, excuse me. If they can still holding up a stage, folks, you I can't understand. Find the owner of that glove. The people are lynched mad. We must feed them someone. I just saw him entering Casey. Keep the chain. Looking for this, Pinto? Yeah, thanks, Chuck. Where'd you find it? This glove was found by the dead body of George Wilson. We'll try to bring you to trial, Pinto. But the mob's been on lynching. Back away, gents. I don't feel playful. Get in that other room. Come on. Get some speed on it. Come on. Grandpa, don't waste your time. For a week now, you've been glaring at that poster. He'll come back sometime. And when he does, I'll drill him for killing my son. He'll never come back here, Grandpa. Morning. Bess, I hate bothering you at a time like this, but the bank must have the money due on your father's note. Note? I never knew my father borrowed money from you. Oh, it's way past due. I don't like to press you, but $2,000 a year overdue means we must start action at once. Oh, it is father's signature. Well, I don't know what we can do, Henry. 
I ain't got any money. What will the bank do? If you can't raise the money to meet the note, Hank, the bank will have to take the ranch. Mark, we'll drive into town, see if we've got any friends left. I'm sorry, Beth. You killer. How dare you come back here? Do you believe me a killer? You killed my father. Go ahead and shoot if you think that of me. I found them and tried to locate the men that did away with them. That's how they found my glove. But you should know I wouldn't do harm to anyone that's dear to you. Then why didn't you clear yourself instead of running away and admitting the crime? I'll do that for you someday. I'll clear myself. You know. What was the... Uh, Jethro doing here? Oh, Father owed him $2,000 and he's going to take the ranch unless Grandpa can raise it. Not Come along, Beth. I know where I can get $2,000. You? How? Look. Oh, but Bill, they'd hang you. I wouldn't. Bless you. Jethro, fork over that $2,000 award for me. Miss Wilson captured me. But I didn't. Oh, yes, you did, and you won it. You've got it, haven't you? Yes. In cash? Yes. Well, then fork it out. Daniels, give me that reward envelope. Now get that note of Wilson's and mark it paid in full. Why? Oh, so you're not so anxious to collect that, are you? Of course I am. Daniel, give me that Wilson note. Paid in full. Now you and Miss Beth deliver me to the sheriff.
Come on. Barnes, he can't do this. Oh, yes, I can, bright fellow. You put up that $2,000 reward just to please the crowd. Well, you got your reward back, but you lost the Wilson property. What do you mean, lost the Wilson property? Let Jethro tell you after he figures out a new plan how to recover it. Those people, they might try to take you from the jail. Don't worry, dear. I'm a lot safer inside than a lot of those that are on the outside. These crooks can't convict an honest man. Just wait till they bring me to trial. Well, Sheriff, lock me up and watch the fireworks. Here, what's this I hear? You paid the reward? He had a gun on me, didn't he? I had to give them the reward. My mother never raised any foolish children. Grandpa, I have the note. You? Hoy, when'd you get out? Pipe down. Where's old man Casey? Gone to jail. Locked up? No, busy. Come on in. No, I'm going down to see the old man. I'll blast the killer of my son. Oh, but Grandpa, if he had killed Dad, would he have done all this? Well, maybe you're right. Bill told me to return to the ranch and hide this note. Hello. We're sure glad to see you. Well, hello, hello Snowy. How in the world did you get out? I'll tell you all about that later. We got to work fast. The payroll is over $30,000. And they're sending it ahead on today's stage. Take the payroll over to Casey's. Right. When the excitement over this hall is at its height, watch the kid. They'll take him and save us a trial. Oh, Barnes. What do you want? Come here. Have you got a cigarette? Sure. We like to make our prisoners comfortable. <laughs> All right, open up that door. I hate to do this, Barnes. All right. Get in there. Sit down. Tear off that plank. You know, the trouble is you that you've been misguided. And I'm going to set you straight. What do you mean? I'll show you that I'm your friend in the end. All right, lie down there. Now, don't try any shenanigans now, old boy.
Come on, Casey. Oh. You've opened these boxes before. Oh, I know. Check up on Barnes and find out what he's doing. Hurry up. This is our biggest fall. Hey. I don't want to preach, Jethro, but this is the end of your trail, the Pinto Kid. Let's get out of here. Mexico, here we come. Just remain quiet, boys. Fire! 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 Get the doctor, quick. Right. Take it easy. The rest of the boys will be here soon, then we'll all go to jail. What's it worth, Marshal, to turn me loose? More than you've told me, Jeffrey. Sheriff. Hey, Rio, get across the border. Well, what's gone wrong? Uh, never mind, Sheriff. Now, let that go. You just take it easy. Fine. Where's Jethro? The dirty crook. He's heading for the border. Doc, take good care of him because I'll need him later. Very well. Oh! 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 
Jethro took this. What? Mind me, they're headed for Billings Pass.
Jethro. He never came up. But I can tell you who I am now. Well, you don't have to. Jethro told me. You're a Fargo man. You never fooled me a minute. I had you figured for a detective all along. You were so gold darn nosy. <laughs> oh, Chico! <laughs> <laughs> 